Welcome back. My next guest, a very funny comedian. Her new one-person show, Does This Show Make Me Look Fat? is, is her new show. <laughs> Please welcome the adorable Kathy Ladman, everybody. Kathy! Thank you very much. Hi, I'm Kathy, and I'm an anorexic. <laughs> I always like to open with a big laugh. <laughs> yeah, um, it's a little uh, scary saying, being on national TV and saying that I'm anorexic because the camera adds 10 pounds. <laughs> I have been anorexic for the past 39 years. Thank you. Uh, as a matter of fact, last year, I was turned down for health insurance because I have a history of anorexia. Well, that's what they said. I know why they really turned me down. It's because I'm fat. <laughs> and I'm old. I'm fat and I'm old. It's a nice combo. I hate getting old. I'm very unique that way. I do hate it. You know, I got up one morning and I walked into the bathroom and I looked into the mirror and I saw something on my neck. So I leaned in to look a little more closely to see what it was and it was my neck. <laughs> my neck was hanging from my neck. How depressing is that? But I'm not gonna get any plastic surgery. No, I'm not going down that rabbit hole. The most I am willing to do is to pull my upper arm flaps back with chip clips. That's it. Right, because I don't want to hurt anybody, you know. Yeah, I'm getting so tired of all the judgment, you know? I'm getting so tired of hearing people say things like, oh, have you seen so-and-so lady? Lately, she looks so old. Yeah, uh, you know why she looks old? She's old. <laughs> That's what happens when you've been alive. You get old. It's not a big secret. It amazes me the lengths that people will go to to look like what they don't look like. Like, I, I got an email uh, recently. It was an ad for permanent makeup. Permanent makeup. I mean, how lazy do you have to be? I mean, what is it? One day you're putting on your makeup and you're like, I can't. Uh, I, can't, I just can't do it anymore. Yeah. Where's that phone number? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I need the permanent makeup. Yeah, yeah, I'll sign the waiver. I don't care if I look like Clark Krusty the Clown. I just can't do it anymore. Perfection is such a wild goose chase, you know? I mean, look at me. I want to be thin, but I love to eat, and then I hate having eaten. It's crazy. You know what I was thinking? What if I were to end up on death row? I know, I don't know how, but just go with me on this, okay? You know what would be the scariest part about being on death row for me? Choosing a last meal. <laughs> yeah, because I know me. I'd have an hour to live and I'd still be counting calories. <laughs> Wouldn't it be great, though, if I could just go for it, you know? If I could just order everything that I'd ever wanted but I had been too afraid to eat? You know, like french fries and, and pizza and ice cream and, and uh, cheesecake. Oh, I love cheesecake. Uh, mac and cheese, mac and cheesecake. Uh, the, oh, you, you ever hear that deep fried butter? I, I'm getting one of those, too. All of it, everything, all at once. And then they'd bring me the tray and I'd look at it and I'd think, oh my God, I can't eat that. It'll kill me. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Lovely to see you. We're gonna take a tiny little break. We'll be right back with Kathy Ladman, everybody, when we come back.
We're on TV now, though. Right. All right. Uh, uh, welcome back. I'm here with Caddy Ladman, who's just had a remarkable set about uh, being anorexic, which you are, apparently. I am. Yeah, uh, that's... <laughs> <laughs> but that's, but that's an interesting, uh, it's an interesting way to go at it because, uh, gosh, that must be hard. It is hard, and you know, <laughs> it's nothing. Um, it, it is hard, but you know, as, as far as addictions go, I mean, an, e an eating addiction is, of course, probably harder than most because you have to eat. Right. You can't say I'm not going to touch this anymore again. You know. Is it an is it an addiction or a disorder? I I, I wonder. Um, um, well, I'm not a doctor, so I don't know. But I wait a sec. No, no, I know. I, you were probably told I was I a doctor. Was, and I was going to ask I, you to look at. This. No, I'm okay. not. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a doctor, All just right. like Doctor Phil. Oh, oh. <laughs> don't get me started on that. Um, it is. I guess it's called an eating disorder. Right. But I mean, it's it's the opposite side of a coin of of being an overeater. It's the same right. kind of ism, I guess. But, yeah, it's uh, it's a it's an odd one. You know, when yeah. I was in the rehab, they used to always set the uh, the alcoholics next to the anorexics, because and I never knew why they did it. And then I realized what it was at, at eating at meal times. I would sit next to this lovely girl uh, right. who was an anorexic, uh -huh. and they made her uh, they ask me when she'd had enough to eat. So they wouldn't say, she couldn't say, I've had enough. She had oh. to ask me. Now, the thing is, you ask an alcoholic, what's enough? And they were right. like, keep going. There's no such thing as right. enough. Right. You keep going until you black out. Then that's enough. That's right. So what it was was to try to find the balance. Well, I mean, you know, actually, it's so funny because recently my husband, we were eating something. It was something that was in a package. Uh, and and I, we were eating. Well, it came in by the mail? No, I mean. <laughs> Here we cut it. Honey, food's been delivered. <laughs> well, let's eat it. No, I mean, it was something out of a box. You know, it wasn't, it was, it was we were just snacking on something. Okay. Like, I don't know. Okay. But anyway, so, um, and he said to me, uh, are you full? And I picked up the package and I looked at the uh, calories and I went, yeah, I'm full. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of like, I didn't like ask myself, have I had enough to eat? I looked at the number to see if I was. Is it, is it a perfection? Is it, con is it, yes, uh, it's, it's control? It's, it's a lot of it's perfectionism. It's, and see, I think perfectionism is a, is a manifestation of self hate. Yes, it is. Uh -huh. it, it is. And it has, and it, and it comes from, I mean, it starts, I mean, in my show, I talk about how, you know, it really starts from when you're born. It starts when you're really sure, little. yeah. And it's all the anxiety, and it had to do with wanting to prove that I was good enough. And, you know, and I took something that I could only t control myself, which was what I put into me. Yeah. And I decided I'm gonna do this better than anybody else. And then it's nuts. I yeah, know, it's, nuts. it's nuts, but at least you've turned it into something marketable that you can use on television. <laughs> <laughs> and I know how you feel. Got <laughs> everybody, we gotta go. Good night. Good night, everybody.